regarding the Wells Bonnet Aida Samba, which is limited to 750 pairs. Now, these might be my least favorite pair. I'm not going to lie. I think so far, Wells Bonner has smashed every single Samba release out of the park. Effectively, I think Wells Bonner has played a really vital part in the resurgence or the popularity of Sambas. Yes, I know people mostly wear the regular Sambas, the black and white ones, or the all white ones with the black stripes. But I think the collaborations between Wells Bonner and Adidas on the Sambas have been so fucking good, have been at such a high level that they've really helped to kind of blow them in another way. Because I see a lot of regular, like I think a, a real good sign of a limited edition shoe success is definitely if you see regular people wearing them. And I feel like these are definitely a regular people hitter. But I feel like this colorway might be the the first miss. Um, mainly because I feel like Sambas work well when they're like got suede and bits of other material on them. I think when they just fall leather, they look a bit weird. I'm not sure if it's me. But apart from the Jason Deal ones, which came out a while back, right? Um, Jason Deal Sambas were really nice. The Jason Deal Sambas, they were all leather. Those are the first ones I actually kind of liked. But again, that, that was a more of a classic colorway, you know, white and black. It had the nice translucent sole, um, you know, big up Jason Deal, uh, big up fucking awesome, big up hockey. But I really like the Jason Deal ones. Let me actually see if I can get them up on here. But they were basically all white, as you can see here, with a really nice translucent sole. Um, but they were also leather. But I, but personally for me, I feel like Sambas work better when they're done classic with the little suede you know tip on the front and shit but i kind of you know i kind of didn't mind these and i also didn't mind these actually these are the other jason deal ones right these like faux snake skin ones here in the middle these are really cool but i feel like the white with the translucent ones are quite nice so they kind of worked on that one but for some reason i feel like these ones just don't work well when they're all leather or maybe it's because of the studs maybe it's because of the the overstitch i don't know i just don't think they work the best so these might be the the, the ones i don't oh actually you know what Come to think of it, I actually don't mind these. I actually don't mind these, you know. Now you look down on them and you've got the tongue flapped over like that. And you've got the Adidas logo with the world's bun at the bottom. And you've got the fucking contrast stitching. I actually don't mind them looking down. I think it's just to the side. They kind of look a bit funky. Um, the studs, I don't really mind. But I just think the all leather look is a bit weird. But when you look down on them, actually, from the top down, they actually look quite nice. I'm not going to lie. I think I might have to reserve judgment on these. But yeah, these might be the first kind of like semi-miss. They're limited to 750 pairs anyway, so most likely most of us won't be able to get them anyway. Um, let's read the article. It says, after years of working together, Wells Bonner is now one of the Adidas's key partners um, in, great, in, in great part due to the brand's work of the ever-popular Samba. I wonder if Adidas is going to give her a signature shoe. I wonder if Wells Bonner in the future will get to do a signature shoe. I wonder. Or she'll just keep doing retros. I'd, lo I'd love to see her do a signature shoe, basically. Um, last year's batch of six led um, to the pairing of a winning Hypebeast 2020 award. Now, a new iteration of the World's Bond Hyidas um, Samba series has been has, has appeared, and this one might be the hardest one to get a hold of. In a brief preview on the shoe, it's presented in the all black. As you see, it's got 700 pairs available. At the time of writing, no details regarding the release of the new batch are out there. So, no idea on the release. They're going to be 750 pairs um, only made, but they're, you know, not my favorite, to be fair. Not my favorite. Um, but then there are some favorites of mine. This is, these are courtesy of Hypebeast again. The first Wells Bonner Ada Samba collab of 2024. So these are some other ones that came out in 2024, right? Or maybe are due to come out. And these look far better. And that's what I mean about the all leather. I think Sambas work better with suede and leather mix. I, I think the all leather look looks weird. But these are fucking gorgeous. So you've got like an all white upper. You've got these nice, what look like snakeskin-esque um, stripes on the side. You've got a translucent, almost gums outsole. You've got this nice bit of like suede at the front. And then you've also got these really nice um, plaid jazzy laces. And instead of the long tongue, you've got just a regular tongue there on the Sambas. These look fucking beautiful, right? White, blue, you can't really go wrong with these ones, right? Look really fucking nice. You don't have the long flap tongue. You have the really like short tongue there on the Sambas, which kind of make them look a bit more classic. But these look really fucking great. So these are actually one up my alley. And then even this pair, this kind of brown, ivory, cream pair also look really nice. 
you've got the addition of the cream outsole you've got maybe a creamy brownie i don't know what the kind of color you'd call that on the upper um you've got also and that's the the fake snake skin shit going on there but in white and you've also got the jazzy laces and then you've got this kind of sky blue inside on on the inside right it looks really nice on the flipping lining so these look these look absolutely brilliant like these look really really fucking good and you've also got the nice wells bonnet hit there on the side stamped there so people know that you're not wearing some grs you get me you're not wearing some grs they can see it on the insole and they can see it on the outsole but they look so 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 good um any details on these releasing let me see let me scroll down for hype beast we got no details when they, oh so they actually did release yeah no they released no we don't they, we don't we have no idea when they're gonna release <laughs> so no release dates yet on these ones unfortunately but these are one of the, my favorites i've seen so far so big up them and then i also like these these are legendary are sample that never came out but these samples are hard. So these are the Wells Bonnet Adidas, Sam Adidas Sambas and they're called Pythons, as you can tell because of the Python material. But these look so fucking sick. So it's all Python material. I'm sure they're probably going to be super expensive. And it's got this nice, lovely green lining on the inside, right? Leather, leather lining. And it's all Python on the upper with white laces, like white ivory off-white laces. Look how gorgeous these look, man. These are so fucking hard. I'd wear the fuck out of these. These look so good. And then you've also got this nice little rivet hit of gold there on the side as well. But they look really fucking good. Same there with the upper. Look how nice they look there. A nice look there with them going together. And a nice little bit there with the sample. So you've got the nice little sample tag. So no deals on these when they're meant to come out. Uh, maybe they got scrapped. Uh, maybe if they see people talking about them, they might bring it back out. But I do like that on both sides, right? On both sides... So on, so on each foot, you've got different stripes. So on one foot, you've got like an all brown stripe. On another side, you've got like a tonal stripe that matches the snake skin. I do like that detail. That's a really nice, clever detail there. So one side, you've got brown stripes. One side, you've got snake skin stripes to match the upper. But they look so fucking good. Like, they look really hard. Maybe as well, if, if, I, if I wore a pair, I'd probably swap them. I'd probably have green laces on one side and red laces on the other. Maybe, or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I think that'll look actually good. Or maybe just stick with white laces on one shoe and then the green to match on the inside. But yeah, big up, big up the samples, pairs here. Absolutely incredible. Love them. Would love to get a pair, but they're probably not going to come out anytime soon. But they look so flipping good. So big up at Wells Bonner for always putting together some sick stuff. If anything, I'm, I'm kind of warming up to these black ones. I'm not going to lie. I think they don't look the greatest from the side. But when you look at them from down, from the top down, and again, because I'm a, I'm a sucker for all black shoes. I have so many all black shoes. Uh, I've, I've owned so many over the years that I just love an all black shoe, especially I also love the contrast stitch. So maybe that's what's gassing me up. And I also love the tag there. That looks really cool with the double branding, right? With the Wells Bonner and the Adidas tag. And you've also got the free loaf, the free leaf kind of, you know, Adidas logo going there with Adidas Originals. That looks really cool, really clean. I love everything about it. I'd actually wear them. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie.